Y'all come and sit down and shut the door. Y'all listen, I know the whole internet is sitting there talking about Little Rod's salacious lawsuit. And I know he said, baby, you want salacious? I'm going to give you salacious. Do you realize he just broke his silence? Baby, he told judge the judge he has recordings of Diddy admitting even more crimes. Y'all, let's get into this. I, listen, at this point, I don't know what Diddy's PR tactics are. Talk about Little Rod's lawyer, um, say it's salacious, and then be pictured smiling like he on the Disney Channel. I'm surprised he's not drawing an p- air picture of Mickey Mouse. You're now watching the Disney Channel. Y'all, this whole Diddy thing is a mess. The whole case is a mess. And I mean for Diddy. At this point, I don't know. He needs to start like, I don't know, burying money in like tin cans or something in the yard because baby, he is 100% in my opinion going down. But you know, let's get into what Little Rod said, Okay. Okay, so Little Rock claimed that Diddy laughed uncontrollably when discussing his assault on Steve Stout. Now, first of all, that's just the little stuff. And I 100% believe it. Diddy did never seem repentant. He got a slap on the wrist. And that's when everybody started whispering, is he an informant or something on state or local? Because how did that happen? Interestingly enough, Steve Stout was a record executive at that time for, can you guess the record company? Universal Music Group. So if you were a record company, if you were a record executive for Universal Music Group and you got brutally beaten with a champagne bottle and a chair, how did Universal Music Group still keep doing business with Diddy? I mean, it's almost at that point they were inviting a danger, inviting a nuisance. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, anyway, they said little Rodney Jones has made more wild claims against Sean Diddy Combs in a sworn declaration of court. Now, listen, not wild and unbelievable, because I think at this point you could tell us that uh, Diddy is behind the fall of the Roman Empire. We'd be like, "Mm -hmm, seems about right. But it's a sworn declaration. If you guys don't know, sworn declarations are very powerful. So it seems like little, uh, not little Rob, but Diddy's side has been like, this is salacious. To which I do know, I believe little Rod's attorney wrote a letter to the judge saying, um, if you don't want something salacious, you shouldn't have done salacious things. Like you did all this stuff and now you want us to talk about the elephant in the room. Uh-uh, ninja, ninja turtle, get front and center. You got things to account for. But all joking aside, right? Um, the sworn declaration is actually really, really powerful because the sworn declaration does two things. One, It lets the court know that Little Rod is standing 10 tours down and with the sworn declaration, they can get him on perjury. So he's basically putting all his cards down, being like, what you got? Let's see what you hold in. Also, with the lawyer, I guess all the threats to the lawyer can stop because they've been threatening to sanction Little Rod's attorney. Do this, do that. And at the end of the day, he's like, my client is saying what he's saying is true. We have evidence to prove it's true. And if you have evidence to prove to the contrary, then you need to show it. But you must be crazy if you think that we are dropping this lawsuit just on your word. And I kind of got to agree with that. Have you guys ever known anybody accused of wrongdoing in a court of law when they come and say, yeah, I did it? No, I don't mean like when they got, no, I mean like, have you really? Did Jeffrey Epstein? Did El Chapo? Did Harvey Weinstein? Did you say Maxwell? Did did anybody ever accused of doing horrific things in court come to court and say, I did it and I beg for mercy? No. So why would little Rod's attorney take Diddy's word for it that everything was cool and they are giving zero evidence? They're just saying, how dare you? My client's an upstanding member of what? Of what? Of what? Of Diddy's free call committee? Anyway, they said Rodney wants an insider. In the, now listen to this because it gets deep. Wants an insider. This is from allhiphop.com, by the way. Rodney wants an insider in the world of hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs uh, has recently offered the court a recording reportedly of Diddy bragging about engaging in violent and illegal activities through his story career. Oh my God. Why didn't Diddy settle? This mofo, Little Rod just wanted 50K. 
He even went on Instagram. It was like, yo, just give me my money. I just want my money. And go back home and write some church choir hymns because you know he came from the church. And Diddy literally in his arrogance basically was like, no, Ninja Turtle. And now little Ron. <laughs> yo, I wonder if Diddy sits back. And sometimes, I know he's stubborn. I know he's erical. He might even be arrogant. He might even be a little Delulu. But do you think that he's sometimes just sitting there and thinking back to like, why didn't I just settle with Cassie? And why didn't I just settle with little Rod? Anyway, Rodney, a producer, excuse me, who collaborated with Diddy on the Love album, Off the Grid, claims to have firsthand knowledge and evidence of Diddy's illicit actions, including physical assault, tax evasion, and more disturbingly, the blanking of a woman. He shared how he would get things by force. <laughs> this is Little Rod's uh, a sworn declaration. This included r- record deals, signatures on contracts, blank, a- blank acts from women and men, as well as women of his enemies. Oh, not women of his enemies. Um, Little Rod also alleged that Diddy boast on the recording. Oh my God. And it encompasses a wide variety of criminal activities from coercing individuals into record deals to blank acts to physically assaulting industry executives, I assume that's Steve Stouts, and evading taxes through offshore accounts. Among the startling accusations, uh, Little Rob makes in his $30 million lawsuit against Diddy, he asserted that Diddy took pleasure in recounting his influence over celebrities and artists, particularly in manipulating circumstances to his favor. He uh, said Diddy admitted to involving J-Lo in potentially illegal activities, leveraging his position to have Shine take the fall for a nightclub bang-bang in return uh for a record deal with our uh, artista courtesy of L.A. Reid. What? He bragged about departed attorney Johnny Cochran's savvy legal skills and ability to pay off the witnesses through private investigators and other third parties. Oh, my God. He also claimed that Diddy still reveled in aggressively handling record exec Steve Stout over a business dispute uh, from Nas's Hate Me Now video. The assault, in case you guys are wondering how bad it was, left Steve Stout with a broken jaw and arm. Diddy bragged about the power he has and the fact that he beat up record executive Steve Stout's ASS. He laughed uncontrollably as he talked about busting him in the head with a bottle of champagne and a chair. On another occasion, Diddy bragged about beating up Gerald Reichnitzer outside a nightclub in Hollywood. The lawsuit also paints a picture of a man with considerable sway over the industry's legal and financial mach- uh, machinations, claiming uh, Diddy maintained control through investments in shell companies and the strategic movement of money to untraceable account overseas. Y'all, did we not just talk about this yesterday in the video when I literally said it is one of the industry's worst kept secrets that they have shell companies in Italy and Germany. Not just Diddy, but a lot of people do this. And they pay their female and male friends that keep them company through anonymous wire transfers. Go watch my video about that. Um, he shared that it is common practice in the music industry to wire money from anonymous accounts overseas. This way... Wow, this this way, if there was ever a need to take care of a problem, it would never be tracked back to him. Diddy's accounts were in Germany. Y'all, go watch that video. Moreover, they said Diddy has, no, they do say that Diddy has already dismissed Rodney's lawsuit as pure fiction through his lawyer, Sean Hawley. Yeah, but did Sean Hawley respond to this? Because that was then, baby, this is now. Sean Hawley slammed little... Rod and Tyrone Blackburn, the lawyer, for launching a lawsuit that was nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. Here's the funny thing. I will understand Sean Hawley's thing. Sean Hawley's whole career is media offense and garnering headlines to work for your clients. Second of all, is it true? Because you can, it can be true and you could want to garner headlines. It could be true and you could want ma- money. I'm confused because you won't speak to whether any of this is true. In addition, 
Uh, Rodney said Diddy is being scrutinized by Homeland Security after they raided his mansions in Los Angeles, New York, and Miami over alleged ties to the blank trafficking ring. Y'all, it is going down. I don't even know how he's going to get out of this. And if Rodney has the recordings, oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I do know. Diddy is going down. My problem, my question is, how long is Diddy going to be playing his castaway on Star Island with Stevie J? You know he wants to go back to L- New York or Miami. And I'm sorry, New York or LA at least one time and have a freak off for old time's sake. Side note, y'all know Young Miami is uh, still keeping uh, company with Diddy according to Young Miami's burner account. Did you know that? Listen, listen. Let me just tell y'all something. I have heard uh, something that is, you know, I'm going to go live with it. Probably not tonight because I'm in the middle of something, but tomorrow I'll definitely be on live and it's going to be an office hours live. Listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I will talk to y'all later. But listen, who wants to start taking bets as to whether Diddy uh, is going down or not? We will, well, wait, betting's illegal, so never mind. We don't need to be in a jail cell with Diddy. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.